Good afternoon everyone, Melissa Daniels here from melissadanielsofficial.com. As a business coach and as a business owner, this is a really fabulous time of the year. But it's time that we all get caught up in the silly season and forget to actually look at where we've been and where we want to go to. We all get caught up in the hype of being busy and just doing the do and being involved in the silly season like everybody else. And it's actually time now to reflect on your year. Okay, so we have four weeks till Christmas and five weeks till the end of the year. So it's so important for you as a business owner to reflect all your goals, all your strengths and all your weaknesses for the year. This actually came to me about four years ago when I was really, really sick and got a life-threatening illness. I had blood clots in my lungs and I was struggling really badly. I had a new business. It wasn't doing as well as I wanted it to do. My staff weren't doing what I needed them to do. And I was really sick. I was in and out of hospital. I felt like I'd been hit by a bus and that it had reversed over me and that I just couldn't cope. I was really at the stage of that business was really hard. And I'd built lots of businesses before, but this particular business I was in wasn't getting where I wanted as quickly as I wanted it to. And it took a life-threatening illness for me to actually pull back and go, well, you know what, maybe it's because I haven't got my systems in place, I'm not reflecting where I'm good at and what my strengths are and what I need to pull back from. So when I was sick over that time, that's what I did. And in that time frame, my business has gone from strength to strength. I actually doubled my personal income and my business income in under 12 months because I got serious about being the boss and I got serious about reflecting on what my business meant to me and to my life and to my family. No business is worth your health and I know a lot of business owners are working so hard and so many hours and still aren't getting the rewards. This is something that you need to address and you need to address it internally. I used to cry in the shower so that no one could see me and I wouldn't admit to anyone where I, I thought I was failing. I, w I felt like a failure to my husband, I felt like a failure to my kids. I was as sick as anything that I just, everything was crumbling in on me. My husband was due to have surgery, finances were really tight, and I just felt that I was living in an expensive hobby instead of growing a business and growing wealth and growing a lifestyle. That changed the maths for me. I don't want you to become sick for it to change the maths for you, but I do want you to know that there's always growth possible. There's always something better, and it doesn't mean that you're failing or you've done anything wrong. You just might need to readdress and look at something different that can change the maths for you. It could be easy as strategies, it could be as easy as staffing, it could be as easy as putting your boundaries out there of what's okay for you when you're prepared to work and when you're not. It could be that you just need packaging in your business to make cash flow better. All of these things, unless you understand them and know them, seem like a challenge, but they could just be an add-on to you and something you haven't thought about. So in this busy time of the silly season, I actually want you to reflect on your year. Reflect on what you're proud of. Like you're a business owner, you get up every day, good or bad, and hi Louise, uh, you get up good or bad and you, you drum through it, you, you push through the heartache, you push through the pressures, you push through when the money's tight and lean and you do it on a daily basis. But as a business owner, you need to reflect on yourself and you need to be proud of yourself. You need to actually say, hey, I'm proud I did this. I'm proud of my staff. I'm proud of my income. I'm proud of this. But for next year, what I want better is I want a better income. I want a better lifestyle. I want more time off. I want better staff. Whatever those big ass goals are to you, you actually have to design them from now. January is too late. You need to be off and running by January. You need to be doing it now in the silly season and getting involved with what you're really proud of of yourself but what you want for your projection for next year. Okay, don't let it come to a life-threatening illness for you to decide that you're worth it and that you should be building your business to love your life. So that's where my whole brand came from and it did come from me being really sick and having blood clots and nearly dying and putting it into perspective of where my boundaries were, what I was prepared to do for business, what I wasn't prepared to do, and that it had to make me some serious money that it wasn't going to be a hobby anymore because if it was, seriously, I needed to give it up and get out of it. So I have created a worksheet for you. I'm going to upload that shortly. And it's all about projecting what a better year you want for next year, but being really proud of yourself for where you are this year. You kicked some serious goals. And if you don't actually acknowledge those, 
you're not going to pat yourself on the back and be able to move forward and find another strength from that you're not failing if you're not where you want to be yet you just haven't got there yet and maybe you just need some tools maybe you just need to be grateful and maybe you need to set bigger ass goals than what you're already setting and have a plan of attack how to get you there so I'm going to give you some strategies this week to help you and some challenges too to actually challenge you to find out where you're at, why you're in the position you're in and where do you want to be at this time next year. So I'm going to upload that worksheet for you, but I do want you to go away and I want you to write down three things that you're proud of. I want you to write three things that you're proud of with your income, three things that you're proud of with your personal growth, with your business growth, with your staffing and with your lifestyle. I also want you to write three disappointments for all of those things as well. And then three big ass goals for all of those. Let's see how you go. Please communicate. Um, this is really important for you to validate. And like I said, I know what it feels like when it feels like that you're failing. I felt like I was failing my husband. I felt like I was failing my kids. Most of all, I felt like I was failing me. I actually used to physically cry in the shower. And it makes me emotional now. But it makes me proud of where I'm at now. And that I can project forward. And that I can bring all of this to you to to train you to know that you're not failing you just need a little pat on the back and someone to support you and be in your corner and show you that there are better ways so have an awesome day and i'd love your feedback i'll talk to you later bye